Well, now, as we heard over the last couple of days, we know that health officials have been saying the risk to Torontonians remains low at this time, but it appears even so, people are still preparing just in case this virus spreads. I've been talking to some retailers who also say that face masks have been flying off the shelves as of recently. Hardware shops like Roblots, a discount warehouse, says they have sold an unusual amount of N95 dust masks over the last three days. Now, those masks are said to block 95% of foreign bacteria and act as a self-priming filter-type respirator mask. Now, the shop's manager tells me he usually sells one box of 20 per week, but over the last couple of days, about 1,000 have flown off his shelves. The shop has been going around to suppliers trying to restock, but it it turns out that their stock is also slim as well. Now, when asked what customers have been saying, most say they are purchasing the mask as a precaution or to send to family members in China. We've never seen anything like it. I mean, the story sort of what's happening in China crept up very slowly. And then all of a sudden by Wednesday, the phones are ringing off the hook and our suppliers were empty. Yesterday, we were sending employees all over the city trying to find as many masks as we could, and they're sold out everywhere. A few people told us they're sending them back to China um, for relatives. Some people just seeing what they hear in the news, and they want to just being cautious, but mostly people sending them back to China. Now, it appears that the masks are quite a hot commodity right now. A post on uh, Kijiji says that a pack of it appears to be 10 is selling for about $300. Also, another pack of three selling for $100. However, the chief public health uh, officer of Canada says that, or was that earlier this week, that the masks are actually not as effective because you are touching your face with your fingers when you do put them on.